All right, there we go. Panfish fishing today. Fishing with night crawlers on three-way slip sinker rigs with these two rods. A nice perch to start it off. He was just barely hitting. That's what I'm talking about. Looking for a trophy perch, but love to catch these guys in the meantime. Nice 12 and a half incher. Feels a little heavier, maybe a walleye. Or a bullhead, maybe. Yep, bullhead. Cool. Uh, short but stocky, you know, 13 and a half, 14. That perch was a 12. Put on a three way slip sinker rig on this one with a minnow, tail hooked. Oh, cool, got a little walleye, really little walleye. There we go, just a baby. Another bullhead, cool. Nothing wrong with that. Nice brown bullhead. A little bit of a longer one. Solid 15 incher at least. How the panfish feels like? On a night crawler. Oh, cool. Crappie. Nice white crappie. That is awesome. Now we're talking. Great variety. On a night crawler on a bottom rig. How about that? Feels like another panfish, I think. Yeah, bullhead. If you call a bullhead a panfish, some people do. Cool. Last one was like 15 and a half, that bullhead. This one's probably 14. So, nice eater. I keep falling asleep in between fish, so I made a mistake on the last thing I told you with that crappy. Um, I didn't actually catch on a night crawler. I caught on a minnow because I switched the minnow and the night crawler out around and forgot. But I did catch one on a bottom ring on a night crawler the other day, so that's why I wasn't too surprised. This guy was on a minnow. That's oh, a bullhead. Cool. Good size bullhead. Maybe the biggest one of the day. Maybe. Pushing 16 inches with a belly. At least 15. Or 15 and a half. Another bullhead. Looks like real yellow. Last one was just 15 and a touch. Not guessing too great, but in the ballpark. It's another chunky one. So stocky. <laughs> Not terribly long, you know, around 14, but really tall. Just all the way through. Oh, this guy was just sitting on it. Hoping for more perch. I'm getting some really finicky hits. Trying to outsmart him. Another bullhead. Oh, no, 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 no. That's the worst thing you can do. Just gotta not let him touch that other line. Sometimes when those lines touch, it just makes this magical, terrible bird's nest. That never gets undone. Oh yeah, that's a fat one. Wow. 
not terribly long, you know, around 14 again, but super fat. Maybe 14 and a half or 15. Works right in that in that ballpark. Smaller fish on the minnow again. Loving these minnows. They're tail hooked. They're real lively. Wow, that's a tiny walleye. I've caught I've caught them smaller, and that's about half the size, but very very rare. Man, that's a baby. Crazy. Probably another walleye, just a little bigger than that first one. Not too big. No, it's a bullhead. Wow. Getting bullheads on minnows, neat. Oh, nice brown bullhead there. There we go. Big head on him, man. Big belly too. Only about 14, 14 and a half, but heavy fish for his length. Head shaking more than the bullheads have been head shaking. Might be a walleye or perch, I'm hoping. Hoping. No, oh, I think it's another bullhead. Shoot. Oh well. Better than nothing, I'd say. Uh, there we go. Quality bullhead at least. Another 14 incher. It's funny, that last fish, that bullhead hit on a minnow. It seems like I'm getting more bullheads on one minnow rig than I am on two nightcrawler rigs. Not unheard of, but a little bit strange. Ooh, cool, got a walleye on a nightcrawler. Small one. Yeah, 17 inches or so. And double header basically. This guy went off right after. I just caught that walleye. If it's another walleye, then they're turning on. Yep, it's a walleye. Funny how that happens. Like literally back to back after hours of nothing. Another small one. About 17 as well. 17, maybe a hair over. Bullhead. Awesome. They do all these like weird spirals, like they just twist, like do an alligator roll. They fight in such a weird way. Oh yeah, another fat bullhead. Wow, that is a fat one. Probably about 15 inches with a real gut on him. Man, maybe a rock. It's caught under something there. There we go. Little bullhead, wow. That's pretty neat. I've been calling that small all this week. I've been hitting them pretty hard. It's like a 10 incher. Finally got another perch, yes! Oh, I've been waiting for this all day. You never know, man. The schools push through at odd times. I've had days where it just seems like there's nothing and then suddenly 14 inches left and right. You know? That's why you gotta stick it out. Man, right when I cast it back in, another fish instantly. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, it's another perch. Oh my gosh. That's, that's what I like to see. That's an even better one. That's probably a 12 and a half solid. Gotcha. These perch have been so picky. Oh, that's why they're not perch, they're bluegills. Oh man, that is a beauty. That's why they're stripping me so easy. That's a really nice bluegill, holy cow. That's solid nine and a half incher probably. Wow. Man. Just unhooked that bluegill and this one went off. Keep going off in pairs. 
Stay hooked, baby. Stay hooked. Oh, it's a walleye. Cool. Man, great variety today. Already caught half the types of panfish around here. Actually, maybe maybe five types, because I might have two types of bullheads. So I might already have like a, I don't know, some sort of panfish slam where I get like most of the types of panfish in a day. Something just hit a minnow. I had another fish on a worm, and it was definitely a panfish, a perch or a bluegill, but it fell off halfway in. It was biting so light. So light, just carrying it away an inch at a time, an inch every f several seconds, you know. I don't know what I got here. Another bullet or walleye feels a little bit heavy. Not in the other line, please, walleye. It's a walleye. All the walleye so far have been undersized. So they all went back in. This one looks... I don't know. Maybe a little better. Maybe. Yeah, that might be a keeper. That might be an 18 incher. 18 and a half. Looks a little bit bigger than those 17s. Definitely have something tiny on here. Oh, a little bluegill. Still not that small. Last one was at least nine and a quarter. I measured it quick. Um, this one's still a respectable one, eight incher. Got some shoulder on him. And I love their colors right now, real purple and yellow. It's a nice looking bluegill. I start trying to get them in a little faster so they don't pop right away. This guy hit right away. Oh, it's a bullhead. Another small one. Cool. Yeah, another 10 inch or so. Gotta be getting these guys in faster. Keep popping. It's a walleye, it's a small one. That last walleye was a keeper, just barely, 18 and a quarter. So that's a good deal. This is just a little walleye. Whoops. <laughs> just like that, they fall off when their skin left. That's probably like a 16 and a half or so. I think this one's the minnow. I'm starting to forget again. It's got some weight to him. Walleye or bullhead, probably. Oop, another walleye. Cool. Looks like a decent one. I don't know if I want to swing this one up. There we go. Awesome. That's a respectable walleye, I guess. Might be a keeper, maybe, barely. Right around 18. 18, 18 and a quarter, like the last good one. Oh, come this way. Oh, another walleye. Hitting in broad daylight. Pretty neat. I think this one's too small. He's cutting it close. Yeah, he's going to be short. He's 17 or so. Oh, another perch, I think. Awesome. That's what I'm looking for. Shoot. Shoot. There we go. Not quite as big, but still a quality perch. Yeah, whatever, I'll go like that. At least 10 inches. Maybe 11. That line was just barely moving against the wind in the waves. So you know it has to be a, a, a fish. But it was so slow. Hard to describe. Yeah, it was a bullhead. He was probably wandering off with it. But super, super slow. Another solid one. Respectable bullhead. Left him up here. Yeah, probably 15 incher. I'd bet on it. Solid 15. Something on my last live minnow. I was just rebaiting this rod. And went off. 
This is the first day I've used octopus hooks for walleyes and not had any problems from them popping off. It's pretty cool. I don't know if this is a walleye though, but this could be a bullhead. Bullheads have been smacking the minnows today and the night crawlers. Good steady bite for the day. I mean, it's not hot action, but for the day I think this ain't bad, especially a sunny day. Yep, it's a bullhead. Cool. Looks like a decent one. The last one was dead on 15. This looks like a nice one. He's real stocky. Uh, shoot. Yeah, nice enough where I don't... I don't know if I can do that. I gotta go down and get him. A little bit heavy. And also a little bit stuck. Oh yeah, that's a solid bullhead. Real solid bullhead. That's a big one. It's probably 16 or pushing it. Definitely at least 15. But super, super fat and stocky and wide and tall in the back. Big head. It's a nice one. Shoot, crossing my line. This is all a mess right now. I still have, have two poles out of the water. It's going to be three after this fish. Oops, small bullhead. Lots of bullheads for the middle of the day. That's what I like to see. Oh boy, what a mess. That last one was a 16 incher. I was just about to weigh him, just for fun. Definitely not the biggest one I've ever gotten, but a solid one for sure. He's so stocky, I just feel like weighing him. This one's probably, you know, 13 to 14. Smaller one, but still nice. Just had a bunch of ducks like mating and fighting each other right in front of me. I got like 10, 15 feet away from me and then spooked. Seems like another bullhead. Oh, take it easy out of the lights, get it really abraded from all the all the stuff that's going on. Uh, that one blood was a 16 inch or a two pounder. Used to get a lot like that. This year I've gotten a lot of bullheads, but most of them have been around 14 inches, small ones. Not a lot of 16, 17s this year. A few, but not a lot. Uh, maybe I should, I should go for it. Yep, made it. Awesome. This is another pretty good one. It's a solid 15 incher with a gut. Awesome. I don't know what it was, maybe a bluegill. This feels like a, yep, this feels like a bullhead. Stay out of the other lines, please. Out of the other lines. Come on. Oh yeah, that's a big bullhead. Wow. <laughs> Holy cow. Big head on him. That's a solid 16 plus. Quite a big head though. There we go. I lost some drag screaming fish. I think it was a carp that just ran over the night crawler. Man, this, this reel was really screaming. Oh cool, a walleye I think. Yeah, a little walleye. Just a baby. 14, 15 incher on a night crawler. There we go. That feels more like a perch or a baby walleye. Wiggling. Yep, tiny walleye. Real tiny walleye. Wow. <laughs> 12 incher. He really ran with it sideways there. What do I got? Another bullhead maybe? Whoa, 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 not that way, not that way. Oh man, not that way. Yeah, a smaller bullhead. Awesome. 13 incher, about that. 
Another fish on the night crawler. There's like a bullhead or walleye. Bullhead? Yep. It's a bullhead. Oh man. I don't know if I said this, that last bullhead was uh, 16 and a half. So it was getting up there. It was a relatively big one, above average. And they get a lot bigger, but that's it's not every day I get a bunch of 16 and a halves. Most trips are just full of 14, 15s. Ah, shoot. Got caught on a weed there. I hate these things right here. These things I hate. They have all those little, like, little seed balls in them. The line always gets stuck in them. Just one, just had one pop off halfway in. Kind of frustrating. It's probably a bluegill. Probably barely had the hook in his mouth. I ripped it out. It's uh, my guess. These guys never fall off the hook. It seems, virtually never. Yeah, that's like a another pushing 14, around 14. In that range, 13 and a half. Something small. Finally got one of the things stripping me. Geez, another. Uh, looks like mostly a bluegill. Either a blue. Yeah, it's a bluegill. Saw these little stripes here. It looked like a hybrid for a second. I think it's just a pure bluegill. Probably. Probably a seven incher around there. Smaller panfish. Oh, another perch. Awesome. That's what I'm talking about. On a night crawler. That one's about 11. There we go. Weird, what did I get? Another crappie? Oh, cool. That's the last thing I would have expected. Got this one on a night crawler. Wow. Never would have expected that. He must have caught on the fall. On a, on a slip sinker rig. I think this is my last night crawler. So this might be the last fish. Not sure what it is. A walleye? Another walleye. Yep. Cool. Undersized one. Stocky though. 17 barely, 16 and a half. I caught this guy on the same night crawler I used for the walleye. It was still wriggling just barely. What the heck is it? Oh, a golden shiner? It's a huge golden shiner. What the heck? <laughs> Wow, it's super fat. That is crazy. That's got to be like a 10, 11 incher. I've caught him this big before, but not like this long and fat at the same time. Wow. I never would have expected that. Maybe that's what's been stripping me all day. This might really be the last fish. Because I have one piece of, I have a worm split between these three poles. My last worm. My really, really my last worm. Ooh, it's a nice walleye. I'm just a piece of a night crawler. Get up here, walleye. Get up here. Wow. Oh my gosh. That's over 18 inches. I just limited out. In a notoriously hard lake to limit out in. That is awesome. Not every day I do that here. A lot easier to limit out at the other rivers. That is crazy. What a day. Shoot. Hand lining this guy in because my rod's jammed up. One of these pieces of grass got caught in the eyelet. Whatever. Gonna make it work. I think it's the last bullhead. <laughs> this is bullhead number 20. This couldn't have worked out any more perfect. Oh my gosh. Carefully, don't screw this up. This is my last piece of worm. 
Oh my gosh, I can't believe how well that worked out. That's so funny. Nice 13 incher. I'm officially done here. Man. What a day. These guys are heavy. Here's the final haul. Been hiking out with it. Didn't get the CPR any trophies, but still got a respectable bunch of of legal keepers. First I got uh, 20 bullhead, got some small ones, um, also got some big ones. Um, no monsters, but the big ones were well above average for most places. They were around 16 and a half inches, the biggest two, and over two pounds probably. The one was on two pounds, the other one was bigger. So I think that was that one, and maybe that one too. Most of them were around 14 inches. They look like brown bullheads to me, except for that one might be a yellow, and that little guy might be a yellow also. I'm going to count the anal fins, uh, the, sp the spokes on them, when I get back and see for sure what, what type they are, just for fun. Also, I got five perch, nothing big, but, you know, 10 to 12 inches pretty much. Nice eaters. Uh, two bluegill, and I'm pretty sure that's a, a bluegill pumpkin seed hybrid because it has the... the, the what do you call them, like the war marks on its face of a pumpkin seed, but the colors of a bluegill on its body. The other two are definitely bluegill. This one's a nice one. It's over 9 inches. The other two are like 7, 8 inches. Got a couple crappie too, uh, just under 10 inches each, white crappie. And <laughs> finally, the kicker, real funny. This lake I, I, I mentioned is notoriously hard to get a walleye limit in because 19 out of 20 walleyes are uh, an inch under the limit. Um, they're stunted in this lake. And uh, I pulled out three that were um, right on the limit, or two of them were a quarter inch over the limit. So I limited out on walleye in this lake, too. Just a great day overall. Oh, man, a bunch of nice keeper fish. I'm going to take them home, fillet them, share them with my friends and family. And if there's any left, there might not be, um, I'll eat them myself. Oh, man, I wouldn't exactly call this a, a panfish slam in terms of numbers. I mean, it's a respectable number, I guess, but it's not a lot of fish. But uh, in terms of variety, like, you know, in hunting, how a slam works, like you go in uh, over the course of a year or several years or whatever, you kill every type of turkey in um, the United States or every type of big game animal over a decade, something like that. Uh, um, in terms of that, in terms of variety, I would call this a slam because this is... A majority of the types of panfish around here. I'm only missing rock bass and black crappie pretty much and I guess black bullhead but those really aren't in most places around here. I got most of them here. I got perch, white crappie, bluegill, um, a half and half bluegill pumpkin seed I think and at least one type of bullhead maybe two. So in terms of variety I think I got a slam here and all in one spot in a fraction of a day. Pretty awesome. Not every day I get to get this much variety.